What's your Christmas theme? Hi, Emily. How are you doing? Hi, Linda. I'm good. Thanks. Getting into the holiday spirit, you know? Absolutely. Speaking of which, we'd love to have you over for Christmas this year. What do you think? Oh, that sounds wonderful. I'd love to join you. Thank you for the invite. Great! We're really looking forward to it. Hi, Linda. I brought these flowers for you. Oh, Emily, that's so sweet of you. Thank you. Come on in. I'll introduce you to everyone. This is my husband, Mark. Hi, Emily. Nice to finally meet you. Hi, Mark. It's a pleasure to meet you, too. These two bundles of energy are Jake and Emma. Jake and Emma, I can't wait to spend time with you during Christmas. Hi, Emily. Do you like playing video games? We have the coolest setup. I have a bunch of board games, too, if you're into that. That sounds like a lot of fun. And speaking of Christmas, we've been busy with decorations. Mark has been hanging the lights outside. And the kids have been busy making ornaments. That sounds lovely. What's your theme this year? We're going for a classic winter wonderland theme. Lots of white and silver with a touch of red and green. The kids insisted on having their handmade ornaments all over the tree. That sounds magical. I'm really looking forward to seeing it. Anything specific I can bring or help with? Just bring your holiday spirit. And maybe a dessert if you enjoy baking. We'll take care of the rest. Sounds perfect. Can't wait for Christmas at your place. Lost luggage. How may I assist you today? Hi there. I just landed. And I seem to have lost one of my bags at the carousel. I'm sorry to hear that. Can you please provide me with your flight details? Sure, my flight was XYZ-123. Can I have your baggage receipt, please? Sure, here it is. Could you also provide me with the details of the missing bag, such as its color size? It's a medium-sized black suitcase with a red ribbon tied around the handle. And any distinctive markings? No other distinctive markings. Thank you for the information. I'll file a report for you. Could you also share your contact details? So we can update you on the status? Certainly, it's John Doe, and here's my phone number. Thank you, John. We'll do our best to locate your bag and we'll keep you updated. Meanwhile, please check the baggage claim area in case it was misplaced. We understand the inconvenience, John. All right, I'll do that. I hope you can find it soon. We will make this our top priority and let you know as soon as we have any news. Thank you. Safe travel. Renting an apartment. Good morning. Thank you for calling XYZ Apartments. This is Jane. How can I assist you today? Hi, Jane. I'm interested in renting an apartment. Can you provide some details? Of course. Do you have a preferred location in mind? I'm looking for something near the city center. Preferably with easy access to public transportation. Great choice. We have a property in Redmont downtown and Bellevue. I've heard good things about the downtown area. I'd like to explore options there. Downtown is a fantastic choice. Would you prefer a studio, full-size apartment? I need a one-bedroom apartment. Our one-bedroom units feature spacious living areas and modern amenities. Our property is located in a vibrant neighborhood with easy access to shops, 
parks, and public transportation. That sounds promising. What amenities do you offer? We have a fitness center, a pool, and a community lounge. Plus, we're pet friendly with a dedicated area for furry friends. Nice. And what about the kitchen details? Is it fully equipped? Yes, the kitchens come fully equipped with modern appliances, including a dishwasher. Sleek and functional. Perfect. Anything else I should know before considering? Just to mention, we offer on site parking. Great, Jane. I appreciate the info. What's your preferred move in date? I'm looking to move in by the end of next month. Perfect. Now, regarding the lease term, are you interested in a 12 month lease or do you have a specific duration in mind? I'm thinking of a 12 month lease. Excellent. Our rent includes water and trash removal. Electricity and internet are separate. That's great. Fantastic. To proceed, we'll need you to fill out an application. Great, we'll do that. Thank you for the call. Have a wonderful day. Exchange. Hey, any exciting plans for the weekend? Not much, just taking it easy. Maybe catching up on some sleep and Netflix. How about you? Same here, a bit of relaxation is all I need. Hi, I purchased a microwave from your store last week, and I'm experiencing a problem with it. Good morning. I'm sorry to hear that. What seems to be the issue? Well, every time I try to heat my coffee in the morning, the microwave makes a strange noise, and the coffee doesn't get hot enough. I see that's definitely not right. Thanks for bringing it in so I can take a look. But I was wondering if it's possible to exchange it. If the microwave is faulty, we'll be happy to exchange it for you. Do you have the receipt with you? Yes, I do. Here it is. Great, thank you. I'll just check the details. We can definitely exchange it for you. Would you like the same model or a different one? I'd like the same model, please. Hopefully, the new one works without any issues. Absolutely. I apologize for the inconvenience. Thank you for your assistance. How are you feeling now? <coughs> Linda, are you awake? Yes, Mom. <coughs> Just wanted to let you know that your friends are here to see you. Oh, really? Send them in. Hi, Linda. Hey, Jane and Emily, thanks for coming over. Your parents called Miss Nelson informed that you won't be able to make it to class. Uck, not great. Been feeling lousy since yesterday. That's awful. Is it the flu? No, I don't think so. It's just a cold. <coughs> Probably from the shower. How are you feeling now? A bit under the weather, but I'll be fine. Worried about upcoming exams, to be honest. Yeah, I feel you. Exams can be stressful. Speaking of exams, how are you preparing? Honestly, not at all. My mind's too foggy. Ah, Linda, that sucks. Don't stress too much. We can help you with the lessons. Emily, you're in the neighborhood, right? Yeah, I live just around the corner. I can share my notes and help you catch up on anything you've missed. Oh, that would be amazing, Jane. Thanks a ton. I really appreciate it. And on a brighter note, we were thinking of catching the new movie that just got released. We're waiting for you to join us. Absolutely. It'll be a great break for all of us. That sounds like a good plan. Thanks, guys. Let's do it. I like your designer bag. Hey, Linda. What are you up to? Just going through some old family albums. Check out this one from our trip to my friend wedding.
That's adorable. By the way, I've been meaning to ask. Where did you get that designer handbag? It's stunning. Oh, this one? I got it last month from a boutique downtown. They had a sale and I couldn't resist. It's really chic. What brand is it? It's a luxe craft. They have some unique pieces. I thought it would be a nice splurge for a change. Well, it's definitely eye-catching. I might have to check out that boutique myself. Same here. We should plan a shopping day together soon. Absolutely. Let me know when you're free. Now back to these nostalgic photos. Look at this one of me building sandcastles. Classic. Social interaction. Hello, do you need any help? Oh, hello. I need to withdraw some cash for an emergency. But I'm a bit hesitant. I'm Linda. I live a few houses down. I've seen you around the neighborhood so many times. You're the one who always feeds the street dogs, right? Yeah, that's me. I love those little furry friends. Can't see those poor creatures go hungry. That's really kind of you. Anyway, why don't you use your card on your phone? Safer, especially around here with the increasing crime rate. Yeah, you're right, but I'm a bit old-fashioned. Always preferred cash. But, it's getting a bit tough these days. I get it. Safety first. Let me help you. You know you could learn how to use the ATM on your own. There are plenty of YouTube videos that show you step by step. YouTube, huh? I never thought about that. Is it easy to learn? Absolutely. It's a useful skill to have, especially in times like these. That way you won't have to depend on strangers. That's a good idea. I'll give it a try. Thanks, Linda. Who is it, Henry? It's Linda, our neighbor from next door. That young lady is always so helpful. It was nothing really, just being a good neighbor. We're lucky to have her as a neighbor. Thank you for watching. If you like videos like this, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to 2 Minute English channel for more videos.